Welcome to AutoCAD for Mac. I'd like to show you a little bit about uh, customizing your user interface as well as looking at the Layers palette. I'll start out with the Layers palette. So I'll drag it off of uh, the docked location on the right side of my screen so that it's floating in my model space. Uh, you may notice right away that you only have three columns, three options for each one of your layers. and That may be a little disconcerting, um, but you can actually access your other uh, options for layers through display settings. So I can come in here and I can turn on line weight and now I can actually set line weights for each one of my layers. I can also add and remove layers with the plus and the minus respectively at the bottom of the layers palette. And my layers tools are located at the top of the layers palette. Uh, they're not located on my tool set. We may be used to that. Um, we had them accessible in our ribbon if we came from a Windows environment. Um, but in AutoCAD for Mac, they're located on our Layers palette. I also want to show you that if I switch to one of my layouts, I'll get different uh, options for my layers. So my VP, um, VP Freeze, VP Color, VP Line Weight, all of my viewport settings for layers um, are only accessible if I'm in that layout. Okay. And I can uh, basically just check and uncheck options here to have them display in my layers palette. Another cool feature about the layers is that if I, uh, if I select some objects in my drawing, it'll highlight them in my, in my layer palette so that I can see which layers I have selected. I'll go ahead and dock that back where it was. And you may have noticed uh, a second ago, I actually tried to uh, do a selection, and it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Um, and that's because out of the box, AutoCAD for Mac is set to um, have you click and drag to make selection windows. If I click once and then click again to define a window, I don't get anything. Uh, clicking does not start the window command by default, so I have to click and drag. So let me show you how to change that if you prefer... Uh, be able to click once to define a corner, click again to define another corner. I can either type options into my command line um, or preferences, or I can come up here to my AutoCAD menu and I can say preferences. And this takes me to the uh, application preferences for AutoCAD for Mac. Um, and here I can control uh, things like that selection that I was just showing you. So if I choose the cursor and selection tab, uh, I can just uncheck this click and drag to start selection box. I'll hit OK, and now you can see if I click once, it starts my selection window. If I click again, it'll end my selection window. Okay, so that's maybe the, the default behavior we're used to if we're coming from a Windows AutoCAD environment. Let's go back to those preferences. These preferences are also where you can change the look and feel of your, uh, of your interface. Um, I can change colors, I can change the theme. It's not a uh, it's not highly customizable, but I'll show you what you can do. If I change my theme, I can change it to light. And if I say OK, it's going to make all my tool sets and palettes and my command line gray, although my, uh, my actual drawing area's background is the same color. And that's set through a different, a different location. The theme overrides here. So if I say uh, model space, I could just set that to white if you're used to a drawing area like this. If you prefer that draw like this. So now I've customized my interface. Go back to preferences once again. I also wanted to show you that you can adjust the zoom speed. Um, when I first tried this out, I tried it out on my PowerBook, uh, my laptop, and my zoom speed was way too high when I was using my gestures. So I actually had to come in here and turn my zoom speed way down, almost to the slowest. So you may want to be aware of that as well. Application is where you'll access all of your uh, paths for support files. Okay. I've also got document settings kind of for how stuff is displayed in this drawing. This is kind of a new, uh, new with AutoCAD for Mac. And these settings, as you can read right here, are stored only in the current drawing. Um, if you want to set them for all of your drawings, you'll want to do it in a template and then resave it. So those are some of the advanced 
settings you have for your interface in AutoCAD for Mac. Uh, please look at our, our, third, our third video, which will describe how you can actually customize your tool sets and your menu bar through the CUI. Thanks.